So hi, I'm Maddie, and I did my project on the migration of marsh periwinkle snails. So a little background for the periwinkle snail. As Kendall said before, their scientific name is Literaria irrata, and their average size is 29 to 30 millimeters. And again, they're not native species. They were actually brought from Europe to Nova Scotia, and then they just traveled down the Atlantic coast. Since we know that marsh periwinkle snails will travel up and down grass stalks, I wanted to see if they would move horizontally through the marsh, and my hypothesis that was that they would move through the marsh. Um, so why is this important? Marsh periwinkle snails are pretty big parts of the ecosystem because they help to slow the really fast growth of the plants, and they're a food source for the animals that live in the marsh, like conch snails and blue crabs. So my materials were pink nail polish, because you had to distinguish the snails, um, a 1 16th meter square quadrat, and of course, the periwinkle snails. And so I went out to the marsh, and I picked a spot that had at least four or five snails in it so that I could actually control them a little bit, uh, painted them to distinguish them from the other snails in the area, and came back over the course of a week to see who had all left. And as you can see, between the first day and the second day, there's a very sharp decrease because, like they said, we're very busy and it's kind of hard to get all the way out to the marsh. So I went from 11 snails to two snails. And for the third day, there were none left. And all over on the fourth day, none of them had come back. Um, so my results did support my hypothesis. And the snails did end up moving farther and farther as time passed because this is day one and the farthest was about 15 centimeters away. And they got farther and farther, about 38.1 centimeters, about a foot, foot and a half away. So some things to remember about this is that they do move horizontally, and they do go farther and farther away. Um, so I'd like to thank the Dolphin Island Seal, of course, Marty, Danny, and Ty for taking me to the marsh. Jenny Cook being such a great mentor. She's always answering the questions that we have. And Kendall for helping me set projects. And it is very sticky out there, so that's kind of nice to have another person. <laughs> Questions? Greg? Okay, so, so Greg asked if I saw any differences with if they were going up and down the grass stalks when we were out in the marsh. And I went at low tide every day, which was about 7 o'clock after dinner, so that they would be easier to find because when you're in the grass and it's water, it's kind of hard to see them. And so it, none of them were really on the grass stalks because, again, there weren't very many in my quadrat. Any other questions? Yes? Um. So the question was that since I noticed that they moved farther and farther away, maybe the pink nail polish made them more, uh, like the predators could see them better. And maybe it did, I'm not entirely sure. The ones I could see were alive, but as they did get farther and farther away, it was harder to find them, so maybe they were eaten. I'm not entirely sure on that. Any other questions? Thank you.